the very slow and controlled motion. Don't just let your arms drop. It's one and up. So down for two, up for two. It's one, two, three down. One, two, three down. Row up one, one, two, three. Up one, one, two, three. And we're going to our next lower weight. Mine is seven kilos or just about 15 pounds. And we're doing the same thing again. So forward and so you're rowing back behind with the elbows. Forward for two. Back, back, forward, forward. Back, two, three, and front. Back, two, three. Come back, out, in, and forward. And get your lighter weights. And again. And up. Back. And up. Up for two, down for two, up for two, down, pulse one, and up. I know it's hard. Down, pulse one, and up. Two, two, three, and up. Three, 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 and up. We're going to the same groupings. Same wrap patterns with a lighter weight. So, was that tough enough for you? If not, you can do the whole thing with the heavy weight again. Hey, why not? Down slightly. Up, squeeze back. Down slightly. Arms in front, it's up for two, down for two. Up for two, down for two. You're gonna feel your abs in this as well. So it's up, push, push back, come down. It's up, pulse, back, come down, down. Up, back elbow, down. Up, front, down. Up, back, and we just need to do that again, and we're done. Are you game? Okay, let's do this. So I want you to roll out, stick your butt up in the air, and then roll up and Arch through your spine and really stretch away long with that hand. And then come up and other way. Just keep your shoulders down. Doesn't matter if your knees can't go all the way to the mat. So you want to make sure that everything's nice and limber once you finish that workout. Heavy weights will always involve your shoulders in some way. So you want to stretch those out too.